Hi and welcome to a new Tech Stuff episode on my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about uh, all-in-one solution from Hobby King. It's a Turnergy F4 FC with four-in-one ESCs on it. I just want to explain you the reasons why I don't use this anymore. First, let's talk about flight characteristics. There are two issues I had with these all-in-one solutions. First one was on roll axis. So if you do flips with your quad left or right, so you roll your quad and you do fast rolls, the FC wasn't able to control the fast movement. So what, it, what happened? that he turned the motors fast in fast frequency up and down and your quad began to shake during your roll. I had this problem with two of three of these controllers. That was the first disappointment. The second issue was during dives. So if you do a dive and you have your throttle at minimum and your motors just turning slow, and normally your quad dives exactly straight down. So no movement in your axis, in roll or pitch axis. It just dives straight down. And as soon as you give some stick input, it does the move you want to do it. But with this controller, after a few meters of diving, it began to drift especially on your axis, but also on roll and pitch, it was pretty unstable. It didn't matter what I tried with pitch settings, stock settings, no matter what I tried in stock settings, the problem was there. In custom settings, the problem was there. And the longer you dive, the more it begins to drift and it went out of control. So you had to correct the flight line with stick inputs, which is pretty tricky if you want to just let the drone dive itself without stick inputs. The third issue I had with this kind of controller, sometimes it was impossible to arm the drone. Stock settings and everything well configured with right UART for the RC receiver, all the right motors, right ESCs, everything you had to connect was connected correctly and suddenly you weren't able to arm the quad and then I had to go back to Betaflight, put the controller with a USB to Betaflight and saved the settings I already had on Betaflight, then disconnect the quad, try it again and sometimes I had to try four to five times the same procedure until I was able to arm the quad again. And sometimes it was also enough to unplug the battery, the flight battery of the drone, replug the battery to the drone and you were able to arm it. But you had to try sometimes four or five times, reconnect the battery and then uh, it was possible to uh, arm the drone. So my final thoughts are that it's a cheap solution for sure, but if you want to have something which you have fun with, don't buy this one. Just because it's annoying to use it, you won't have the flight characteristics of your drone you want to have and you will have trouble sometimes on arming the quad. There are just too many issues with it to make it a, a sensible solution. So my suggestion is go for a 4-in-1 ESC or four separate ESCs with separate FC and like this you won't have any problems at all. What I use currently on my Tokyo is the Furious FPV 14EF4 flight controller, already pretty old Cicada 4-in-1 ESC 30 amp. This combination works great. I have my aluminum motors on it and Dalprop T5040C which work pretty nice. And like this the quad really flies well. This was it for today. No recommendation for solutions like this. Go for separate FC and ESCs but not uh, these solutions here. 
That's it for today. I hope you liked the video. Give me a thumb up if you like it. Comment, share and subscribe. And as always, happy flying. Bye bye.